was the embodiment of the American dream, son of an immigrant family who went on to fame and fortune and good works. NBC Stephen Frazier. Danny Thomas's popular nightclub act flopped so badly on television that he declared the new medium was only for idiots and vowed never to return. But in 1953, he was back, starring in a family comedy called Make Room for Daddy. It became one of TV's most enduring shows and lifted Thomas from entertainer to America's dad. Don't be silly. Who ever heard of a six-year-old chorus girl? Well, couldn't you lie about my age? <laughs> The country could use situation family shows again. See, we never did sitcom. We yeah. did situation family. Were there any situations from your home, family, life that were used for a TV show on Make Room for Daddy? Lots of them. Lots of them. And also from the family lives of the writers, the producers, whatever happened crazy at the house. He was about the greatest humorous storyteller in the world because... You believed him. He was very honest when he spoke. He, he defined the middle European, the, uh, in, the, in his case, the Lebanese first generation who came to America, who weren't as delicate and uh, sophisticated as the uh, as Ozzy and Harriet or Father Knows Best. With Carl Reiner, Thomas produced dozens of television series and discovered new stars such as Mary Tyler Moore, his shows shaping the first TV generation. He was born Amos Jacobs, one of ten children of Lebanese immigrants who settled in Toledo. Danny and Thomas were two of his brothers. Struggling in his early work as a radio actor, he prayed to Saint Jude, the patron saint of hopeless causes. In gratitude for his success, he founded Saint Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis and raised money for its cancer research programs literally until he died. He was there yesterday. And he was working right to the end, here on Late Night with David Letterman, a meaningful appearance for the man who once said the important thing was to be wanted. Is that your nose or are you eating a banana? <laughs> Stephen Frazier, NBC News.